Don't laugh at us. Yeah, a normal match with switching off. Yes, and to begin this match, I'll start by reading the blue team side. On the blue corner, we have Why Not with a standard set, and Shadow Tag and Acoustic Berry, Tangrowth with a standard set, Chlorophyll and Petri Berry, and Bloody Colo with a physical set, Own Tempo, and Scoop Limps. Lean off of the red team, we got Arceus Ground. Has a multi type ability in the earthquake, which combines gonna make it a ground type. But has, it has some decent ground moves such as Mud Slap, Trump Card, Stealth Rock, and Sandstorm. Then in the middle slot, we got Smoochum with Hydration and Focus Slash. And on the last slot, we got Mew with Synchronize. Riri says, bid Mira B for this battle, please, Kappa. A little color does come out first. It's gonna face Arceus Ground, but it does have a good advantage with that Razor Leaf. Being super effective against this ground type Arceus. Only a minute and five seconds left in this betting period. Slime, it, slime. <laughs> Time is slowly running out. If you want to get your bets in, if you want to get some good pokey in, then you should hurry up and put them in. Looks like the blue team is the favorite to win with about a 14% payout. And not anymore. Looks like more odds are, more bets are coming in. Seems to be there's more bets on the blue side, but more money-heavy bets on the red side. The odds are evening up right now, but could I get lopsided once again? Now the betting pe the betting period is coming to a close with the bets finally evening out. 110% payouts on the blue side and a 91% payout now it seems on the red side. Oh, and I'm wrong. 73% on the blue side and 135% on the red side. The heavy bettors have finally gotten their bets in and it looks like we're in the lovely Stargazer Coliseum for this matchup where it shines bright with starlight. We begin with Ludicolo versus Arceus. Arceus is going to transform into a ground type. In this matchup, it seems the red team will move first with Arceus going for a mud slap, hoping to lower the Ludicolo's accuracy. Ludicolo's going to hit a Razor Leaf. It does decent amount of damage. Arceus in with the Stealth Rock now, hoping to set up damage on the blue team, it looks like. Ah, Razor Leaf is a critical hit, so it'll bring Arceus down to half HP. Arceus down to critical health. Looks like the red team is going to try to set up a sandstorm, but they're going to switch it to mud slap. That mud slap is going to hit and throw lower Ludico's accuracy more. That razor leaf is going to finish off Arceus. No, Arceus lives with 3 HP. Yeah, 
No matter how hard Arceus tries to lower Ludico's accuracy, Ludico keeps hitting with Razor Leaf, and that's gonna finish off Arceus this turn. The red team will send out their Smoochum now to go against the Ludicolo. The Smoochum will move first, going for a fake out, flinching the Ludicolo so it does not get off an attack. Smoochum hopes for another fake out, but it will fail. Body Sam's gonna hit switch him hard and paralyze it. Ludicolo will try to follow up again with another body slam, but it will miss. Neither corner can't pull off a move. But this body slam's gonna hit switch him, it's gonna take it down. And it's a critical hit to rub some salt on those wounds. Mew is sent now, it's gonna use Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon will hit and Ludicolo will automatically be paralyzed. And it looks like that paralysis will pay off and Ludicolo will be fully paralyzed this turn. You tries for another Zap Cannon, but it's gonna miss. Ludicolo's gonna go for the Body Slam. Mew will go for a Dragon Breath this turn. Dragon Breath will sear Ludicolo getting off a crit but not taking it out. Ludicolo misses another Body Slam. This Dragon Breath... Ooh. It's not gonna finish off Ludicolo, it's just gonna tank that hit. Ludicolo's gonna go for another Body Slam. Mew is paralyzed. Seems like Mew will get off a fire blast though this turn and take out the Ludicolo. Tank Growth is sitting out for the blue team. Tank Growth is gonna go for the energy ball. Mew will tank to hit, but follow it up with a super effective fire blast. Tank Growth gets burned. Tank Growth does live that burn, but it's down to 6 HP. Tank Growth will go for the Earthquake, Mew tanks that hit. Mew is paralyzed, but that burn is going to finish off Tank Growth anyways. It looks like right. this might be it for the match now, as Why Not is sent out with full HP on the blue team, but Mew is just barely hanging on on the red team with a quarter of health remaining. Why not just have counter and miracle? So it's got to predict which type of moves gonna use. Mew's gonna go for the zap cannon. Does a decent amount of damage, but I think why not's gonna go for gets paralyzed first. But why not's gonna go for miracle? That's gonna reflect the attack back to Mew, and Mew is down. The red team will lose in this match, and the blue team will take home the 73% payout.
Back to more Ash Gray, we're still talking to Flint. Now the token added to the pot thanks to Bringref 19. Get your get your sheeps ready. Like this flossy ranch is playing right now. It looks like the two tokens will be going out now. Congratulations to whoever won those tokens. On Erdrick and the to Dragon of something something. I'm sorry, I couldn't see the rest of your name in this teleprompter. It looks like we may have an exciting match this this time around. Oh, unfortunately no. It'll stop just before we have a randomized match and instead we'll have a normal match we're switching on. On the blue corner, we have Snover with a special set, Snow Warning, and a Miracle Seed, Magnuson with a special set, Magnapole and Metal Powder, and finally, Pyloswine with Speed Control, a Speed Control set, pardon me, Oblivious and Wise Glasses. Leading off for the red corner, we've got Spiritomb with Pressure and the Custap Berry, Quagsire with Damp and No Hell Dynam, and Tyrogue with Steadfast and the Focus Sash. seems that the red team might have the advantage here in this matchup as their Tyrogue is a fighting type and is super effective against two of the Pokemon on the blues team. But that being said, Tyrogue isn't a very tanky Pokemon. Tyrogue will at least be able to pull off one hit thanks to that Focus Sash. But in order to take advantage of Tyro, you cannot be switched in unless a Pokemon already goes down. That is true. The Spirit Helm will have to find some way to do some damage on the Piloswine, or the Red Team will have to switch into Quagsire to get damage off on the Piloswine. Spirit Team does, a, does have that hidden power fire, which is going to be good for all three Pokemon here. <laughs> Also, Quagsire's ground type ability will negate any electric type from that Magna Zone, so that Shockwave won't be able to do anything. And we've got about 30 seconds left. The red team is the strong underdog with a 630% payout. God, it's been a few months since. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a few months since I've seen a match like this, is what I was gonna say. And now the match will begin as we get into it now in the lovely, beautiful, amazing. The teleprompter is being kind of slow. Oh, the Lagu the Sun Sunset Coliseum? Yes, there we go. And we're listening to Dr. Mario music from Melee. So spe specifically. They're gonna switch out first turn. Red team can switch out Spiritomb for Quagsire. Palestine will go for the Mud Shot here. A critical hit on the Quagsire, so it will do some decent damage and take down at speed. This is another mud shot that's gonna continue learning to get speed. Quagsire's gonna counter with a surf. Right, that surf. That's gonna be super effective and pause fine down to half HP. Palace Swine goes first now due to the speed loss on the red side and goes for an icy wind. 
I say wind will not be enough to take out Quagsire, but it will lower its speed stat again. Quagsire's gonna go for a surf. That's gonna finish off Polyswine. That snow, that snow is gonna come out. Snow warning is gonna come to effect, making the costume very chilly and hilly. It's gonna use Blizzard. That's gonna finish off Quagsire. And now the red team will send out their spirit to to go against the Snover. Let's see how the match turns out. Snover gets off a sheer cold and that's gonna take that spirit to. Unfortunately, the red team's luck seems to be out of it here as the spirit as the spirit tomb goes out. It will now be two Pokemon versus one with the lonely little Tyro being left to take out the two big bullies. This is not looking good for the bread team now. Snower's gonna use Blizzard. Tyro is at least gonna take it thanks to Focus Sash. It's gonna use Close Combat. Super effective, it's gonna take down Snover. But Tyro's gonna sacrifice its defense, its special defense. And that hail's gonna finish off Tyro in ways. Unfortunately, it looks like here the red team will not be able to clutch it and they will be taken out, and the blue team will take home a 51% payout. The red team get dealt some chilling misery with a clutch win for the blue team. And now we're here back in the side game with only one token on the line currently, and we're still talking to this man, telling us about how we couldn't beat Brock, and now he's telling us, well, get to it. Let's see what you've got. Ha ha ha. Most people want to know what else he's saying. There's two tokens on the line now, Griff 19 being a lovely, lovely lad, and donating that one token to us. Thank you. 